Hello, welcome to, welcome back to the channel. Some more Starcom, uh, Unknown Space. So uh, we're back down here today, uh, kind of just messing around. Uh, I did get one of these things done. Uh, so basically what you got to do is you need to get all your lasers going full, full force. And then we launch all of our missiles at it. And then as we launch all of our missiles at it, uh, it will eventually, it, it takes a minute. It, it's, it's a lot to get through these things. Uh, I actually, I sat here for a couple of minutes just chewing on it and uh, to see uh, if, if we could eventually get it um, uh, with just the lasers and just lasers alone don't work. Uh, so we just kind of let them all kind of, kind of start full force in it and then we got to die brilliant from that one the first one I did I got a um, it was like a shield thing uh, it's still a mandatory we'll we'll look at it here in a second uh, I just want to see if there's more more stuff in here I'm trying to find uh, another zinium so we need more dibrillium is what we really need I think is dibrillium that we need so we got a filled reactor Device with non uh, non euclidean distorts energized field, redirects certain energized particles along the surface. New research tech at this shield branch. Okay, so we have a new shield research. Uh, so we can just kind of do this and kind of kind of melt melt some asteroids with with the lasers. Uh, the lasers don't auto fire. Um, I was kind of hoping that they would auto fire at lasers or at uh, missile or uh, asteroids in the vicinity. That would make them way stronger. Uh, but I think I had that first uh, with lasers first were released. I think I had the same the same uh, issue with them. I'll just kind of just keep firing, and there you go. We got that thing and a data cube. All right, so we got a uh, two research points out of that. So we'll go ahead and analyze the data cube. Guide powering very large uh, archaeology generation vessel. Segment focuses on safety, accessing the residual energy of the spatial cores. Okay. So with that, uh, we, we're kind of in this area here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back. And we're going to go see what that other research was that we have. And honestly... Um, while I'm at it, I uh, probably should be doing checking on some of these and see if we can have, uh, I, we're just kind of doing cleanup, uh, and making sure we have all of our, all of our, um, research is done, all of our, our stuff done. I want to make sure I have everything open and kind of done and make sure that we're completing the game um i do want to say let me go look at my achievements real quick i have six more hidden achievements that i haven't done i know some of them are going you know the uh after we return to uh back to our our space but i also know uh, I kind of looked into some of the achievements, the hidden ones, and uh, it and it's doing this weird thing here too, where like it's not doing it right now. Yeah, there it is, right there. It's this weird orange line, and then I I went all the way out here to that point, and it's Like it keeps like pointing to this area, and I I went out there, and there was just there was nothing there. There was a a fleet of ships out there for some reason, and I had a chat with them, and they exploded. So it all worked out. I'm not exactly sure why that thing is pointing that way. Uh, it's not not being very helpful to be to be perfectly honest. So. Do, 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 do. So we'll go do a couple of these. Oh, you're going to shoot missiles at me. That's not very smart. That's probably going to upset me. 
and right now I'm not even I'm not even worried about it because like just the <laughs> it's enough to melt them. Oh, those the lasers are powerful, especially on uh, now that we've uh, kind of hacked the devout and we're ripping through them. All right, we'll go over here and see if this lab is actually going to do anything for us ever. Now that the, the devout is kind of, uh, we, we've kind of beat them up redeploy nothing obviously has changed all right good i like it i like it when no, nothing obvious has changed what is this guy colossal caves you know what i don't feel like dealing with him right now um uh, i think that wants me to go back i need to go back why traders Silent Tower Investigation. So we have a couple of investigations and stuff like that to do. And what I could do is just save. And just jump back through the portal. And just see how it goes. You know what? Maybe I'll just do that. We'll uh we'll go back. Uh we'll we'll check out this one tower. I have a feeling that it's not gonna do anything. So we'll check out this one tower. If it does something, we'll we'll deal with it. If not, we're gonna go back. Uh we're gonna see what the new shield thing unlocked. And the spatial cores. See if that opened anything. And then uh, what I may do is, is go back. I think I might just go full lasers um, and just start the game with, you know, four or five of the... Uh, over here real quick anything on this guy yet director despite stage mostly intact similar to the one of the team encountered earlier in the dusty refinery there's normal redundancy circuits the data uh them doesn't seem to match the primary i have the primary data re replace it with the redundancy Comes to life, change the remaining energy of the batteries, transmits a repeating message into the sky for a few minutes, several repetitions, the shower sparks, and some key components give out. Okay. Oh. Okay. All that is going someplace new. Okay. And to the flinger we go. Which is going to suck because that means we can't get out of there. I uh, found a whole new area, so that's uh that's helpful. Anything fun here? Anything? Deploy the survey team. Owner looking uh, moon is storing amount of titanium collected for centuries of meter deposits. Yay, titanium! Yeah, see, I got these two markers over here for some reason. I don't understand it. Normous cruisers have been setting the surface of this separate world for some time, judging by the trees and plants growing on this hole. Surprisingly, it's not a derelict. The energy signatures are normal. A number of systems are powered. Team approaches. A group of scaly bipeds comes towards their position. Lengthy dialogue explains that the vessel is one of many groups of refugees that flooded the post-Empire conflicts. They were lucky having engineering skills to redirect a nearby flinger temporarily and reach the remote system. Now concerned that with Flinger direct here, it's only a matter of time for the Locan, Devout, or others seize their vessel. 
gold defunct engines and let you examine our ship systems if you would promise to redirect the flinger back away from the refuge. Sure, why not? All right, have the team return to the ship. Trade some gold for flinger redirection. We do have another star out here. But I think what we should do is go redirect our flinger first. Because we can always just drive back up here. Like, it's not that big of a, a deal. Right. Go redirect the flinger. Just, just on the off chance that they, uh, they do actually get up here at some, some point. Go ahead and redirect this guy. Fulfill the promise. Refugees minus one charlight. All right, we'll lose a charlight. All right, so that thing is done. Felt guilty of inadvertently led to something. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Aquarian traders do have go do the uranium pits. I thought I had another tower by traders, possible investigation. Okay, so I don't have another, don't have another tower. Okay, I just have the one tower. And then what well, we can do, yeah, so we can get out of here quickly. We just can't get to there quickly. All right, so we'll do that. Good old Whisker Mug. I, I really want to blow him up. You know what? We're kind of towards the end of it. Let's Let's see what happens. Come here, buddy. Old Whisker Mug is running from us. I don't know if we can actually do anything to him. Oh, no, we did something. I think, yeah, piece of this. Oh, yeah, it's starting to fall off. Nope. You. Yeah. Nope, yeah, nope, now we've upset him. for a second. Bravely ran away, away. Ow, 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 ow. That hurts a lot. hurts yeah 
Yeah, his lasers are definitely stronger than ours. I'm just gonna pelt him with missiles. I don't know if the missiles are doing any damage to him or not. Yeah, his lasers are definitely stronger than ours. It, he is his ship is is a beast. Yeah, I think he's able to kind of uh, pick off our Build, build up some missiles this way by chasing them. Turn the shield back on. Build the shield. The shield is depleted, Captain. Oh, Whisk, Whisker Mug is, is not the dude to mess with. Activate the shield again. Slowly, slowly trying to get to his chewy center. That guy is, that is a tough ship. Don't think we're supposed to be able to blow it up. We're only slightly on fire. Don't you run away, you jerk. Yeah, this guy is, is a monster. Jerk. I'm not done with you yet. Oh, we finally got him. All <laughs> that for one. Why did we kill Wiscom? Because I can. <laughs> because I can. Because it was there. All right, because I had to see. I had to test it and find out what happened. And now we know. See, not that one. It's this guy right here. All right, so unfortunately, that is just going to be just a, a cruise through the space. All right, so killing Whiskamug, eh, not, really, not really helpful. Do, 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 do. Now, it's going to be fine. Uh, like I said, the, the trick with, um, uh, at some point I'm going to start a Terran 
uh, and once I do that, uh, a Terran Empire playthrough, uh, and with a Terran Empire playthrough, we're not going to be able to do any trading at all, like no trading, uh, because we're not allowed to, to to trade with anybody unless unless we can, you know, uh, basically tell them that you know are have them swear allegiance to us. That will be the goal with that that playthrough. So we'll see how it works. But yeah, we had a had a, a distinct chef mug. <laughs> oh, poor guy. I don't think I don't think you're supposed to be able to murderize that guy though. But I'm <laughs> some some days you just have to try something weird uh and just see what happens. Uh because uh trying to do things that the dev didn't expect us to do is why we're here. All right, so let's get up here to this guy. And then once we do that, we're going to run back. I probably should have, <laughs> should have got the shield technology before before I tried to uh, start that fight. Um, but as far as I know, that's probably the strongest, the strongest uh, guy to deal with here. And then I'm going to have to figure out how many lasers I kind of want. Because ultimately, the the more lasers we have, uh, oh, the more lasers we have, the stronger we are. And uh, okay, just add protocol and investigation and explode it. All right, thank you for playing. Those you, you kind of run around and find those. Sometimes they'll find uh, something useful in them. Sometimes it won't be. It's just kind of kind of doing what you need to do. Yeah, I don't know. And it, those little things there, where it's like, hey, there's something there. There's nothing there. It's just I don't know if I've broken the game and it just it doesn't know what to do. Uh, if there's stuff in other like on another map or something that I'm not seeing. Uh, there, there's some weirdness going on. And I've gotten a few errors down here. Uh, so I may have, I may have broken something. As to what I broke or how I broke it or all that stuff. Uh, I don't have these answers. Do not have these answers. I am just, oh God, I, I honestly love this game so much. It is such a good game. Blanket is recently home of moderately complex life form compared to Earth's air. Now his blanket with smooth fog consisting of numerous uh, organic molecules. Uh, Terry, the anomaly reading was a survey instrument labeled Station 9440. Coded the atmosphere to learn anything but prevent some titanium. Yay, titanium! Anything? Anything? Nope, nothing. I was really hoping there'd be a way to get out of here. That's probably too much too much to hope for though. Uh great difficulty lander through a blinding sandstorm. Sears estimates whatever sin was for that is anything at all. Huge amount of uh chart dust as we can have with the instrument. Dunes cover the okay. Another source. Our flight team is forced to set the lander down to clean out the cooling intake filters. By the time the chore is complete, the anomaly signal has disappeared. No. Here's an anomaly. So now, now with, with, yeah, yeah, I would run. Oh, you're the little guy. You shouldn't show up. You shouldn't show up and be red to me. Just, just so, you, so we're clear. That's not, that's not a good plan. All right. So there's nothing there. Let's go back to the station. Go run through the uh, run through the abyss some more. Uh, we'll go back and see what the station has to offer. Uh, I'll do a save, uh, and then uh, once we do that, uh, we'll, we'll once more through the breach. Uh, so yeah, so this one will be a little bit faster getting out of here because we can go back over to our friends, uh, use their flinger, and then uh, basically be able to get back out.
Do, 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 do. Probably would have been smart to do that faster, but you know, it is what it is. Come on. Out out you go. All right. Back to the bat cave. Nope, just me. All right. So we'll run, we'll run back to the space station real quick. Uh, see what researches we have developed. And then uh, at some point, I will probably put out an episode of kind of how to edit the save file. Progressive yellow fog anomaly located in space. Arctic fog anomaly completed the latter as a result of the former breaking down over many years. Found several connections between devout experiments and large scale catastrophes, besides being suggestive of sinister intent. They may give us a clear enough picture or, uh, of their research and constructed data indices of their lab. Okay. So, which means that we may need to go back to their lab now. All right. Yep. So, back to the lab. I lied. We're not going to our space station. We're going to the lab. I don't understand what it's done here. Okay, something weird happened. All right, we'll let it go back up here real quick. Hopefully, we'll get this thing figured out. Uh, we're going to go back to the lab, uh, see what that uncovers. And then we'll go to the space station and do our research. Maybe somehow I missed the flinger when I come through or something. Let's try this again. You guys don't want a piece of me. All right, so back to the lab again. All the floating around in spaces. I have a feeling once we get back to our space, uh, like that flinger and that stuff is all going to be, be intact. Hopefully we'll be able to start researching things. Or we'll run into more stuff to be able to get more research. That'd be great. You guys don't want a piece of me. Don't You don't want to come over here. All right. I warned you. I'm not even going to fire missiles at you. I'm just going to let the auto, the, yeah, the auto defenses. Yep. Sucks to be you guys. <laughs> Those things are so strong. All right. Redeploy the survey team. Nothing has obviously changed since the last visit. Labs, uh, reconstruct the lab's research database. Not much data uh, to upload. Uh, facilities responsible for turning the research to practical applications. Looks like most recent focus was a radiant attack on pass through dense matter that still damaged DNA like modules. Apparently, uh, excess. Yeah, they, they've, they've done. Better, they're doing. They're doing war crimes. They're doing. Yeah, they're radioactive cod missiles. Those purple missiles that they're shooting at. Us. So it doesn't damage the ship, but it it damages our our crew. That's why. Our, our guys are getting uh, injured and critically injured uh, by those stupid missiles. Oh. Oh. You look like you think you're a big bio. Okay, fine. I can I have shields too.
E. All right, fine. I'm gonna shoot missiles at you now. Fine. You wanna play? <laughs> We're gonna get those guys. Uh, you know what? Shoot him in the. Shoot him in there. All right. There you go. Yep, more support personnel. Yeah, this guy, this guy's pretty angry too. Battle cruiser. I want a battle cruiser. Uh, new neutronium. All right, so let's try that again. Let's go back to here. We're just a little on fire. It'll be all right. Just a little on fire. All right, anybody else in here want a piece of me? All right, let's in here and see what this guy has to say for us. Anything, anything? All right, we'll go ahead and dock and go research. All right, so. Nope, Dreadnought hull still the maximum on there. Uh, engines, warp extension. Uh, so there's the plasma. So you can do a plasma mark three. Which is 300 points. Probably going to pass on that one. Uh, nothing new in the reactors. I figured there might be something in the reactors. There wasn't. Um, tractor beams. Okay. Fixed guns. Havoc. Missiles. Nothing new in the missiles. Drones. We do have some lasers. So beam scaling and stuff like that. Shields. Plasma reflection. Oh, okay. Most most of the energy for plasma projectiles is reflected away. So that was probably not a bad thing to get. Still have three fallen empires and an unknown technology. I don't know if I want to spend the 200 points on that one or if I just want to spend more points on my lasers. Uh, beam scaling does keeps the damage delivery per unit of energy um, or additional increase in laser range. Uh, I like both of those ideas. I can't do that one, so we'll get more damage and we'll get more range. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the game here. Uh, and then we're going to change this to... All right, we're going to go ahead and save that as before the return. Go ahead and resume this bad boy. And then we are going to go back down here. And we're going to go back to the the uh the other side uh and we'll see how that works out for us I have taken time to date about the bad news is the radiation weapons they have been researching are probably effective against most organic life specifically and especially focused on dna like ours good news is there is research that could reduce the dangers uh, posed by it but not eliminate it completely significant mitigation i had the data to selena's lab when next we dock okay so that way we can kind of we can turn those down if we want it to go ahead uh no okay 
Uh, nope. X investigate. Uh, what happened to you? All for now. All right. So, do we just jump through the portal and see what happens? I kind of want to see what what goes on. Uh, and like, I'm sure I could just drag this thing out for for years. Or not. Okay. I need to talk to this dude. Or do we need to actually? Uh, what happened to you? Can you? Are you? All for now. Okay, so we can't actually do anything with that. That's that. That's traitors. Let's go back to the station. Kind of see if we can actually get through. Is the slow kind of want to start the the Terran playthrough? It's such a this game is so great. I just I just want to to play a different direction and see if we can we can break some stuff. And and I'm sure I'm probably going to break the game because there's a lot of stuff that we're supposed to you know interact with and be you know help and learn. And if I just brute force it and just beat the crap out of it and just don't listen to anybody. What's the difference? Um, all right, let's see. Space time sensor. Okay. So it doesn't look like there's anything else at it. And like the reactor is like, I oh, know we do have the whole reactor. Operations. Take his time to head home. Blinger operational connecting. Waste time getting there. All right, cool. Break. Officially directive. I will be taking a lot of cilantro staff back, but some of us have decided to even the wormhole closes for good. Still a mission for Star Starcom here. Really is goodbye. Honor serve with you, Commander. I'm writing uh, incandescent post action. If I ever meet again, I expect to call. I expect to call you, sir. All right. So we'll go ahead and exit that. And then we'll go jump through the wormhole. All right, so you have to go tell uh, the station that, hey, okay, I'm done. I'm going to go back now. I'm, I've done. Like, you guys have fun. We're going to peace out. Uh, we're going to go back and live in the daughter, the daughter universe. And you would think that if that was the case, like this, if this place made that universe, there would be a large contingent of Starcom brought here to, to ensure that it's... Uh, protect it. Right, and to... To the abyss one more time. And we'll see... We'll see if there's more stuff to do on this side. I'm sure there's devout... Uh, that was over here that we'll have to deal with. Okay, into the flinger. Nothing but blue. Do, 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 do. Our ship seems to be going slower. Right. See where the flinger takes us, and I'm sure. Sure, there's going to have lots of stuff over here that we're, uh, hopefully get to go look at. But if we're building the flingers, I thought it was pointing the other way last time. All right, and we go. Oh, we're going way out there. So this is it. We're falling home for good. Oh, I doubt it. I'm sure. I'm sure there'll be other misadventures. Your 
sure there'll be other misadventures that we'll be able to go to. Yeah, I can see there's a whole bunch of things like to visit on along the way. Helper is only a full assignment. Yeah, see, it's pointing me to go to that place. Well, that's Seoul. Okay. Uh, go ahead and scan. Kepler, stand by for clearance. No. Confirm. Proceed to Morningstar, sir. You're not, you're not in charge of me. I will blow you up, good sir. I said good day, sir. <laughs> oh. All right, let's see. Now, the only problem with this is, is we're going to end up needing to probably build a different ship just so that we can transit because we don't have the stars here anymore. Crudities are great. Skip the glad uh, handling. Secret. Uh, strict secrecy decree, even though the vacuum decay risk is now close to zero with the uh, wormhole collapse, I also try to reassure the general public of that. Also, there's a lot of new discoveries that made, which want to take some time to study. Use social benefits. Okay. Fragments, for example. All right, looking use discoveries here at Morningstar. Okay. I'm supposed to offer you a Commodore level desk position back at the fleet and resign your command crew. Here, where they can keep an eye on them. How does that sound? Uh, Fleck, no. Given Vin's report, I told them that was unlikely. My other option is to keep you all in the field aboard Kepler with the help of Heretic Tech. Managed to get experimental new gateway up and running. I've sent a few scouts through whole galaxy to explore. So if you can't keep you behind a desk, I'd like to keep you as far as possible. I'll do just fine. Good, Captain. Until powers above me, figure out how to want to handle the situation. I think Kepler should uh, be where you work best in the unknown. Ready? The portal is active. Any communications? Okay. Well, I'm not going to do that yet. I want to go here. I want that's Soul. Are we? Can we go? Can we go there? We're going to go back to... I want to go check out Seoul real quick. Uh, I will be back when we get there. All right. So we're almost almost there, maybe. Uh, they're just come up. They're starting to give us space chatter. Uh, it looks like we have... Oh, there's Earth and Mars. Saturn. Yep. Oh, wow. So it actually has almost everything. Oop. I'm launching rockets at Earth. if it actually uh, allows us to if there's anything to scan on them no anomalies detected you see the earth is truly a small and blue and beautiful and external silence that floats to uh, okay no anomalies detected on that one I didn't think there'd be anomalies little blue dot visit earth in okay, case so we have visited I don't think there's anything to actually never actually seen Earth person. I don't think there's gonna be anything that we can actually uh, research here. I think it's more of just going to find and being able to to do it. So I, I'm pretty sure like driving around here isn't going to net us pretty much anything. Um, the next trick is to be to go back. Uh, jump through that portal and unfortunately I have a feeling that's going to end the game for us I I just I don't I don't know 100% but it uh it will make me sad because it well it's just the way it is uh because uh the game's got to end at some point the dev can't just keep adding like everything and its uncle to it but I'm really hoping that 
uh, we get another game, uh, DLC, something. Like I, I'm, I'm here for whatever this dev wants to put out. Are they except Europa? We should uh, attempt a no. We should attempt a no landing there. Tire moon off limits because their ex wives live there. They're just they're just running their mouths now. So yeah, so no anomalies, uh, which we kind of expected. We honestly, I, I honestly, you know, it would be hard. It'd be nice to have all these kind of, you know, put in, right? We ran into some Tesla like floating through the space or something. All right, so nothing, nothing to really land on. No anomalies. All right. So we're going to go ahead and going to head back uh, to here. I'm going to go jump through that portal. I'll be back when we get closer to it. Talk to y'all soon. All right. We're back up by the station. Uh, we'll, uh, uh, we'll check this, this, uh, this one out just to be sure. Oh, that's a, that doesn't look ominous at all. Yep. No giant. Nothing. Nothing. We'll go jump in the portal. They'll send us far away. Thanks for exploring. Yeah. Starcom Unknown Space. It, it, such a good game. Game music. Unfortunately, we turned off all the music uh, because um, I'm horrible and I don't like dealing with DMCA and uh, just it's not worth my time. And a lot of games, unfortunately, I miss a lot of games because um, I turn off the music uh, just so I don't have to deal with it. Uh, and then uh, we leave it anyway. This is a really cool end credit scene, though. Like watching, being able to go back and watch and see all the stuff and use the assets of the game and stuff like that. And then still have all that stuff. And this is all the different softwares and everything that the uh, closed beta testers. Nice. Yes, kebab. More closed beta testers. Oh, Silent Storm. That's the name I, I recognize. Do, do. I think I recognize that name. The game, Kevin Lynn. No, it's an awesome game. Like, it's such a good game. Mirror Green. Oh, that's funny. That's a cool. And like I said, I really hope, like the dev, if you're listening to this, like, thank you very much for all your work on this game. Please, please give me another game. Give me, just keep doing what you're doing. Good, good, sir. I, I appreciate it. Uh, but with that, uh, we'll go ahead and close this game out, uh, and say thank y'all for watching and call the end of this, uh, and then I may be back soon with uh, with another one, and uh, we'll go from there. But as always, if y'all like the videos, please throw a like on them. Uh, leave a comment, question, or concern below. And then uh, if you're not subscribed and want to see more of this or any of the other stuff we're doing, please consider hitting the subscribe button too. With that, y'all be safe. We'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.